Hey, what's up guys? Michael with Gear with Style. And this is a look at gaming on the MacBook Air 2013 11-inch Core i7 8 gigs of bit byte of RAM. This is versus the 2012 which I have on the left, which is a Core i5 1.7 gigahertz 8 gigs of RAM. Now what kind of made me think about doing this was I had a couple comments and then I had some private messages. But before I get into that, I did want to address the speed and Wi-Fi connectivity. This is in an area of my home that has really poor reception with my 2012 model, but I get much improved with my 2013. I ran the speed test a couple times and got very similar results, although I've never had any issue with my 2012. I certainly don't with the 2013 either, so I wanted to throw that out there first. So the game that I chose was Civ 5. Now I got this through the App Store. So from what I get compared to the Steam version, the App Store version does seem to run a bit hotter. So again, on the left, Core i5, 11 inch, 2012 MacBook Air, 8 gigs, 8 gigs of RAM. On the right, 2013 Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM. Now one thing you may notice too is screen color differences. Both of these are using the Samsung panel, but the 2013 model seemed to have darker blacks, uh, a little bit more color, and you can kind of tell this even on camera, and I didn't really notice it as much until I started to edit this video, so there are some differences there. But the main attraction, the main point of this, is to find out if the i7 does in fact run much hotter than i5, and although these are both uh, 1.7 gigahertz, you do have the advantage of the Haswell processor in the 2013 model. So I use my iPhone as my stopwatch. Right now we've been going at about three minutes, and I do have an app that I use where I can hover over just to get an idea of CPU load along with temperature and fans, and gives me kind of a snapshot of, of what exactly is happening with temperature here. So again, on the left is a 2012, on the right is a 2013. Now, I originally started on the 2013 earlier in the day and noticed it got a little warm after about 20 minutes of gaming. So that's why I was curious to compare it to the 2012, which is what you are seeing here. Now, the 2012 on the left-hand side, you can see that it's starting to crease up in terms of temperature. The i7 tends to run or has been running considerably cooler, some 20 uh, degrees at certain points, especially early on. Now, we're sitting at this point into it a couple minutes of gameplay. I sped it up for purposes here, but just to get the idea, I try to keep it fairly well balanced. I would go through and do a run on each, on a, a turn on each uh, laptop just to get a feel for how well it held heat in check and as you can tell that 2012 i5 is starting to heat up a little bit and I start to feel it a little bit coming off the keyboard and you'll know what I'm talking about if you've had a MacBook Air you will feel it a little bit in some of the keys again I'm running pretty much the same everything's pretty much identical to include even battery life both were topped off at hundred percent or roughly they're at when we started this video test and the only difference is I downloaded a quick app on the 2012 model. So beyond that, they're exactly the same. Uh, as you go into it, there is starting to become a difference. The 2012 model does start to get uh, a little bit more heated, and you can start to feel it a little bit more. And as you run into their about 8-minute mark, and I'll show you here in just a minute, the Core i5, the fans will start to kick on pretty good and it'll be when the last check was a little bit over 100 degrees. So it heated up pretty quick using pretty much the same uh, layout, the same standards, and for the record, when I started with these games, I started at the default level that was automatically assigned based upon uh, when you start up the game. So there's no differences, um, nothing, no changes there, so they're pretty much identical. For the short answer, you can find that the 2012 model heats up faster even though it's a Core i5. Both run at 1.7 GHz, but there is a distinct difference in the Core i5. Uh, as you can see here is when I started to notice it, and I'm at the 8 minute mark, and that tells me that that i5, is the fans are spinning pretty high. Now you can tell that the keyboard starts to radiate a bit more heat. The 2013 model with a Core i7, however, I got almost twice the amount, so I'm looking at really 17, 18 minutes before you could really start to sense it with the heat. So here I'm at 15.3, and when I actually did it, I was sitting around 18 minutes. Now the battery life on the 2012 was at 81%, and then on the 2013 was at 82%. 
but the 2013 has a larger battery life to begin with. So hope you like this. Leave all your comments down below, and thanks for watching.